This is not the man I wanted to be. This is the man I had to be. This is what my life was. A cycle, a routine. It was normal, but at the same time, it wasn't. Sometimes I didn't know how to feel. Proud and then ashamed forever. I think to myself, was this too good to be true? Did God give me extra time? I know Devontae's thinking the same. How many more bodies? I mean, he hates snakes as much as me, but he can smell the smoke before he feels the fire. But he'll never fold. He's been real since the beginning. Sometimes I ignore the negative outcome to enjoy the now. See the good in life even though my actions could affect those around me. Pretending to care was probably the worst thing about it. Like how many more times have I got to lie to Kel, Olivia and Mum? Was it worth it? To see my family and loved ones crumble because of me. Kel's a sneaky little brother who won't go out of his way to snitch but will say something if asked. So I had to keep my door shut and speak quietly whenever he was in the house. Same with my mum. As long as I knew man Julius was under the same roof. I hated him as much as he hated me. He knew I was up to no good. I wish he had some evidence to convince my mum. I've literally been surrounded by snakes my whole life. Which begs the question, what's loyalty? Because it sure as hell is it family. I couldn't even trust my girlfriend, Olivia. That innocent girl couldn't handle the reality of dating a serial killer. I couldn't imagine her reaction. Needless to say, it was priceless. She would instantly become the biggest snitch once pushed against the wall. Instead, she pulled that wall closer to the facade that started to wear out. She kept digging. But sooner than later, Olivia found something. Something she wished she did. Yo, Theo, what the fuck? Where have you taken me? Take this blindfold off of my head! Shut the fuck up, Olivia! Don't mix any harder than it needs to be. Look, if it's about the gun, I won't tell anyone, I promise. Just stop playing games, let me go. Do you want me to cover your fucking mouth as well? Now tell me, without shouting, who else did you tell about this? I just found it today, I haven't told anyone. You really haven't got much better at lying, have you? I'm not lying, I swear. I just found the gun today. I know you, Olivia. Don't think I haven't seen you moving bare in and that. You're not as sly as you think you are. I don't know who told you that, B, but I would not snitch on my boyfriend. If you think I would, then you don't know who the hell I am. You're right. I don't know you. Nor do I want to know you. I just want to know if you're telling me the damn truth. Because if you're lying to me, Olivia, I swear! I wouldn't lie to you, Theo. I wouldn't lie. Why is it that everyone around is a fucking snitch? I couldn't trust you to stay in your own business. And because you're snooping around where you shouldn't, this is our situation. My whole life has been like this. Teachers, parents, siblings, cousins, colleagues, friends. They're all the same. Theo, baby, listen to me. This isn't you. This isn't you. Look at yourself. When I said shut the fuck up, I meant it. Hello? Hey, your feel. Well, it's time to talk to you, huh? Bro, bro, can't you see I'm busy here? Bro, he said. Man, fuck what he said. Tell me to wait. Hello? Your fear said you should wait. Hello? to drag you into this <laughs> but I can't let you go <laughs> I can't trust you you don't need to do this Egg. you can only blame yourself for what's about to happen Yo, whoever's ringing my fucking number needs to stop now! Hello, Theo. You should really watch your tone before things get worse for you. Ugh. 
who the fuck's this? I know who you are and what you've done. Turn yourself in. If not, your family and friends will suffer. I suggest you reconsider what you're about to do and leave the alleyway. This is your only warning. Hey, what's up? What do you say? I thought you were looking out to make sure no one's here. Bro, nobody was there, fam. I was looking out, bro. Bro, she's getting away, man. Olivia! <sighs> Damn, T, why didn't you shoot? Just chase after her. Make sure she don't get away. And Devonte. Yo! Watch your back. I say no more, man. Call me when you find her. Cool. missing in South London. He was last seen on Tuesday evening at 10.30 p.m. leaving Morley's Chicken Shop on Lewisham High Street. Metropolitan Police are actively looking for the missing teenager and urge anyone with information to contact 101. The Met Police continue to search for any links or evidence as to why so many teenagers have gone missing in This marks the seventh missing teenager in the capital so far this year. Ah, oh, so where you been? Uh... I was out with, um, uh, Devonte. Really? Okay, doing what? Just, um, playing football in the park. Alright, okay. So, where, where do you think you're going? I'm just gonna go put my bag in my room. Okay, I, but I'm gonna need you to go in the living room, yeah? With your bag. Why? Let, let me just put my bag in... The living room, now. Theo, now. Mum, Mum, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Mum, Mum, what's wrong? Mum, tell me what's wrong, man. Theo, <laughs> take off your bag and give it to me. Why? Unless you've got something to hide, there shouldn't be a problem, should there? No, but why do you want to look in my bag? <laughs> Come on, bud! Move, boy! <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. What the backside have you got a gun in your bag for, Theo? It's not mine. It's my friend's. Who, Devonte? I knew that boy was up to no good. You see, Amanda? I told you your son is rolling with them roadmen and doing gang activity behind our back, destroying our family. It's not Devontae's, man. It's someone else's. I ain't a part of no gang, so I don't know what you're talking about. What are you covering for Devontae for, huh? I'm not covering and for- And furthermore, it. how can you be so stupid as to carry a gun in your bag? What if the police stop you? I'm not covering for him. Like I said, it's someone else's. You think your man's gonna bring up gun in my house? Well, you got some nerve. Let's take me for some damn fool. Get off me! Hey, wait, just move! Just wait. <laughs> just wait. Just, just, just wait a minute. We spoke about this. This is my son you're talking about. Amanda, <laughs> don't be naive. Theo is lying. He's been lying to us all along. There's no reason for him to be telling the truth now. Come on, think about it. Prove it. Prove it then. Because if the police come knocking on my door, they'll be asking us all questions. Yeah? Is that what you want for Kel? I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look what he has brought into our house. Huh? In fiesty. I'm a criminal. Watch your mouth, Julius. Don't you dare. Call my son a criminal. Come on, this is unnecessary stress he's brought on you and me. Huh? 
And look at the TV. They're missing people. I'm telling you, he's got something to do with it. I know it. And you, the death threats you've been getting at work. And today, me, I nearly lost my job and I get robbed on the way home. This shit's got to stop, man. I'm telling you. Just because he's your son, it doesn't mean he's innocent. Death threats. Don't act innocent. You know what you've done. What are you talking about? You know nothing about me and my mum. Everything they're saying has nothing to do with me. They're just chatting shit with no proof. Look how your son's talking to me. Have some manners and respect. Telling us the truth. Are you being honest with me? Theo! Where are you going? Amanda, come on. The more you protect him, the worse it's gonna be. Huh? Look, come on, I know you love Theo, alright? But you got, for the sake of us and Kel. He's got to go, man. What are you doing? Let's just see what Theo will do from this moment onwards, yeah? It's his responsibility. Let's just give him the opportunity to, to try and do the right thing. To make his own decision. To put things right. Julius, as a mother, just do this one thing for me. Julius, please. Kill you little snake. What did you tell him? Do you know what you've done? Look at what you've done. What happened to your face? They dropped me at school. The way it hurts, but I heard them say your name. What? Who? Don't talk to me, fam. Hey, yo, I'm sorry. Don't hey. talk to me. Hey, yo, I promise whoever done this is gonna regret it. Imagine my mum and Julius just found a gun. For fuck's sake! It's so peak right now, fam. Imagine Kel got banged up as well. What the fuck was that about? Oh, really? That all happened so quick. Wait, wait, who the fuck is this? Where's Devonte? Yo, Devonte, yo. Yo, where the fuck is Devonte? Yo, please, man. Whatever he says, bro, just listen to him, bro. Yo, Devonte, you good? Yo! You should listen to what your friend is telling you. Yo, Devonte! Yo, hey, I swear if you touch him. Listen to your friend. You know what to do. I swear if you touch him. Yo, Devonte. Hey, Theo, help me, man. Yo. No. Yo. No. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I've got Devonte, man. The next morning, I decided to open my eyes and face reality. 
a moment I never wanted to see, but a moment that had to be. Hearing Devontae on the phone, that was the last straw. Time was running out, so I had to make things right before it got too late. The pain in my mum's eyes was so painful. I knew she didn't want this, to let her son go, for what could have been avoided. I hope mum and Kel have forgiven me for what I did. I wouldn't blame them if they didn't. Julius, he can go fuck himself for all I care. Running away was an option. Finding this unknown cooler psychopath was another. That would just be delaying the inevitable. The inevitability of this moment. Or worse. It was time I took accountability for my actions. And I know my mum noticed that. Fear began to take over our body as we got closer to the window. Justice. A moment of self-reflection. Reality. The moment I realised something. Snitches get stitches. But loyalty causes more pain. <laughs>